Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel, The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I would love it if you could subscribe and hit the bell button. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a requested video for a review on my Gucci bag that I got for Christmas last year. Um, the bag is called... I forgot. So I always get confused with the name. Um, Aphidia GG shoulder bag. That's the one. And um, I've used this bag in my TikTok and Reel videos. If you have not seen them, some are on YouTube in the short section, or you can hop onto my Instagram account, The Closet by Connor, and you can see all the reels there. This is the bag. It's been used as a prop. And um, people have been like, well, can you do a review on it? And I'm like, sure. So this is the review. I got this bag for Christmas um, last year. So last month. Oh no, it's February. Two months ago now. Sorry, time goes fast. Um, but I got this video. This video. I got this bag. <laughs> We're not getting off to a good start, guys. I got this bag um, to kind of fill in that other monogram kind of craving I had and I didn't own any Gucci bags and I thought look this is a perfect kind of starter piece guys starter piece for Gucci in my collection um, because it's classic monogram um, it's a good little messenger bag and it's got the webbing detail which I love it's got the supreme coated canvas which I love and it's got the little Marmont GG kind of subtle modern hint to Gucci as well as the classic um, other elements of the bag all in one, which I love as well. So I thought, look, pretty safe bet. I'm just going to get it. I have been very surprised by how much I've actually used this bag because I honestly thought I would probably use it every, you know, like third or fourth time going out to use a bag, if that makes any sense at all, but I'm sure it will. <laughs> and I kind of reach for this bag a lot and I, yeah, I'm really surprised. I think because the color scheme is very like it is very classic and neutral and it goes with a lot of the clothes that i wear i'll insert some photos of me rock on it um but because i wear like black white gray navy this is the perfect kind of me color to wear it with to wear that with so yeah so as mentioned before this is the ophidia gg shoulder bag and in australia currently it retails for 1435 dollars um and that is the price i paid for it i'm pretty sure it is very very basic in its layout it is a messenger bag it has a one large open pocket in here that is lined in a thick kind of canvas and then it just has the Gucci tab there that just says Gucci made in Italy. And then on the back, it has the serial number. In the front, there is a zip pocket with another little slip kind of area that is very small. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't use this pocket at all. It's very tight um, and it isn't easy to get in and out of. Um, when I've used it, I've just popped my car fob in there or my lip balm or something very small or like my the parking ticket, I popped it in there um, and that's about it. But to be honest, it is not a fun like incision place. <laughs> incision. Um, but in terms of the actual bag and its main, its main, um, main pocket, that is pretty good for what it is. The bag is, like I said before, in the coated canvas in the GG Supreme print. And I have to say, I love this coated canvas. It's very easy. It's very low maintenance. Um, I actually went out for dinner on the weekend and it started pissing down rain, like absolutely pissing down. And um, this bag got soaked, like absolutely soaked. And nothing happened because it's coated canvas. It just wiped straight off. Um, even the webbing, which is obviously like a cotton linen, whatever you want to call it that's the water just beat it off. So I'm assuming it's scotch guarded or fabric protected when they made it. And I've never applied anything to it. Um, and then the rest of the bag is a leather trim in this beautiful, beautiful brown color. Um, the, they've also added a different type of piping. So if you see here, the leather trim is in this brown color and then the piping is in like a darker, um, a darker brown color. What they've actually done is removed the leather piping and put on a, um, 
like a nylon -y, uh, what's the word, like a plasticky nylon piping, which is pretty clever because it stops scuffing um, and it stops wearing on the bag. Um, and I don't really care about not having leather piping. It's just makes it a lot easier with the bag and it makes it wear a lot better. So yeah, the piping is like a plastic. Um, it's very hard, very hard wearing, very sturdy. And then yeah, it's mixed with this brown leather. The hardware is um, aged gold hardware in this shiny, like a, sorry, a matte, like a glossy matte. I know that's a bit like an oxymoron, but it's like a shiny matte finish at the same time. And then it has the Marmont hardware in a very, very small, subtle logo. And the green and red webbing just goes all around the bag. Um, the hardware on the bag is very sturdy, like the zip is very sturdy, it's not flimsy. Um, and I'm very overall impressed with this bag. The bag has a adjustable leather strap as well that has one, two, three, four, five, sorry, I was looking under the little thing, five notches on it. So it's a great adjustable size for different types of heights and, um, you know, drops. Um, I was very worried when I first got this bag that it didn't have one of those little tabs that goes on the end of the strap to hold this part in place. However, the bag molds very well because of the leather. Um, it's quite so it's sturdy, but it is quite malleable and soft even when you first purchase it. It doesn't take time to kind of soften. It comes pretty well malleable. <laughs> Um, but the little, as you can see here, the little tail has sat down perfectly um, and I wear it on this length. With this bag though, I have found depending on what I'm wearing, I will adjust the strap depending on how it looks like, you know, sometimes it looks better like right under the titty, sometimes it looks better on the hip, sometimes it looks better on your stomach. So it all depends on what I'm wearing. No, none of my other bags I have, I really change the strap because it kind of just looks good in all the ways, but this bag you can kind of mix it up. I don't know why. I honestly couldn't tell you, but for some reason you just got to switch it up with this bag, but I'm not even mad because adjusting the strap is very, very easy. I'll pop the exact measurements for the bag down in the description box and I'll put it in centimeters and in inches. Um, but what fits in this bag for me, it is perfect. And I know that I get away very easily with these small messenger type bags. What I was a little bit apprehensive first about with this bag is it is obviously vertical and I know that more of a camera sized horizontal like if the bag was like this and the opening at the top for example works best for me because you can make a lot better use of the space and you can kind of Tetris things in a lot better um, obviously when it is vertical you're limited because everything kind of has to stack up and you don't get that you know horizontal freedom <laughs> um, but I'll show you what I use in my bag and how it fits so first I carry my retainer cover and look, to be honest, it's very obnoxious. I'm actually ordering a smaller, like half this thickness because it's ridiculous, but this is just what you get at the orthodontist. But I firstly put that in. Um, I carry that around obviously, cause when I'm out, if I'm eating, I have to take it out. Next, I put in my Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. This is what I use as just my everyday wallet. Um, and I rotate my card holders and wallet ish things around all the time, but my um, monogram eclipse um, pocket organizer is next in the rotation. So that's what I'm using. Pop that in. Next is my Louis Vuitton recently acquired key holder in the black Effie leather like Dale, we're twins. Um, I picked this up last week from Louis Vuitton um, because I transitioned from like a traditional like keys on a keychain to this and I'm like whoever invented these was on the ball. I thought they were quite antiquated when I first heard of them, but they're so good. Well, they, for me, they work. Um, and yeah, so I put my keys on that. Then I have my key fob. This I probably would just put in the front pocket um, so it doesn't get lost in the bag, but just for the purpose of this, I'll chuck that in. And then I'll carry mints and my lip balm. Normally my lip balm, I just put it in my pocket, but for this, I'll just chuck it all in. So there, it's all in there. Um, I'll just zip up the bag. It doesn't make it push out or stick out. It all fits in pretty easy, but to be honest, if I didn't have, if I wasn't carrying my bulky retainer case, it would be a lot easier. But even so, this is probably not a bag that you would carry if you need to get things in and out all day. It's very much so a bag where you'd put all of these things in and you're out shopping or you're going for lunch and you're kind of sitting down and you're not running around trying to get things in and out because 
of the opening of the bag, it is a bit annoying to get things in and out of. With that being said, that was no surprise to me. I completely was expecting it to be like that. And it is definitely not as easy to use as my Fur Lepage bag with regards to that, um, because of that's vertical, so that's horizontal, and this is obviously vertical. But in saying that, for the price of this bag, it is pretty good. Like it's very good value for money. Um, I would buy it again, and it is very, 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 What's the word? Like you get that little hint of luxury, but it's kind of small and it's kind of cute at the same time. So I'm, I'm glad that I purchased this bag. All in all, I know this has been a very short review, but it's a very small bag and there really isn't much to it. But I would definitely purchase this bag again, um, especially because it, it is hard wearing. And I know, you know, hard wearing is so subjective and, you know, these bags, obviously you purchase them to use them. But at the same time, I didn't want a bag in this kind of caliber to kind of be delicate or just a bag that I couldn't be bothered taking out because it's going to get dirt on it or it's going to, the corners are going to scuff very easy or anything like that. But because they did put these hard plastic um, piping corner edge things on, um, it's made it very, very, very usable. And you know, you can get the bag soaked in the rain and nothing happens. <laughs> um, but I definitely would recommend this bag, especially if you're kind of wanting to enter into the Gucci world or you're starting off with messenger bags, you're not sure what quite works for you. This is definitely something that is classic, um, goes with a lot of outfits and color schemes, um, and definitely, definitely a great price point for a uh, free, uh, for a luxury bag. Thanks so much for watching my review on this bag, guys. If you have any other questions or you think I've missed something, please pop it down in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to me on my Instagram account, The Closet by Connor, and also my TikTok account, The Closet by Connor, as well. Um, but thank you so much for all of your um, support and all of your um, engagement on my TikTok and Reel videos. It's been I've been so happy that I'm able to make you all laugh with them and you know, to kind of laugh at being on YouTube and all of those things like that. So hopefully there'll be more to come. And I'm also filming a Melbourne vlog very soon. I'm going to Melbourne at the end of this week for my birthday. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot of filming. I'm going to the Chanel exhibition. I'm having a private tour of the Fur Lepage store. Um, so I'm going to have lots of great content in that. So hopefully you can check that out when I upload it. And hopefully I can see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.